Hi guys, Gary here, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today is going to be a little bit something a little bit different as opposed to clean and detailing. I'm going to be attempting to change the vice clutch master cylinder on the Leon 2013. Um, I think the book time for it's about eight hours, so it's nearly ten o'clock on a Sunday morning. So we'll see how we do. Um, plus, I don't think there's no videos on YouTube around the Leon. I know they're um, the Golf and the Scirocco is similar, but I think the actual um, part is slightly different. So we'll see as we go along. But if it's up, someone's out. The <laughs> someone's. If it's up, someone out, then that's great. Anyway, see you in the tech, guys. Tick. <laughs> So access is going to be complete pig. It's down below here. And there's just here you see a popper. I believe it's uh it's up and behind there. So what I do I'll try and get my torch and uh get in there, undo that and see where we are. See you in a sec guys. As you can see guys, I'm going at a bit of an angle, but I've managed to undo one of the clips. And just in there on the bulkhead, you can see a little clip, so I'm going to try and unpull that off and um, get to it. Get that um, heat protection stuff off. Let's see in a sec. Right, I managed to get it off, although it wasn't easy. But down in it, you can see that's the... That's the start of it. Well, that's the end of the pipe, the fluid pipe for the clutch and the one for above to the brake master cylinder. Um, I think the actual switch on this is slightly different because the Scirocco's and the Golf's are on the outside, but the switch, um, the electric switch must be on the inside. So I'm looking at the new part and it's on the inside. So, and the actual sir clip on the bottom, on that, you know, the fixed pipe, that has to come down and then you pull that away. So I'll try that in a minute. But I just thought I'd get in there so you can see. I took the handle off the GoPro, so we'll see you in a minute, guys. Right, guys, finally managed to unclip it. It's a nightmare of a job. I'll show you one in a, the new one in a minute. Um, what it's like to get that bottom sir clip or the clip off. Um, so I've got one pipe up here, and the other, this is the one from the brake master cylinder, and that's the one to the clutch. Um, but I'll show you on the new part what I'm on about, like this. Here is what's the nightmare because obviously it's underneath, so when it's in the car, it's like that. Um, but I knew I was going to be doing this job, so I bought a cheap couple of bridles off eBay. And lucky, enabled it because they're little, it enabled me just to get in there and just hook it out, pull it out. They're on there really tight, but then they've got to be, aren't they? Haven't they? So, but anyway, so that's it from this side of the car. Thank God. But now <laughs> it's even the hard part, which is obviously in, inside the car and underneath um, the driver's side and etc. etc. So I'll get back to you in a sec, guys. Right. <laughs> inside the car now, guys. So uh, I'm going to have to start taking a trim and take this off. See what I can take off here. Best to use some trim removal tools. I've got a collection here. So we'll start and um, see how we get on and then I'll get some light in here and when I've got a bit more better access to the um, the clutch pedal then um, I'll do a bit more filming. See you in a sec guys, cheers. Right guys, and you see, but there's a, that's the actual switch there. And I've just undone it, the pedal there. I must tuck it out of the way, so just see. Obviously, it's very difficult. But get the old um, what's the name up there? I can see one of the bolts. If you see there, there's one, but I think there's three. Um, once I found the other couple, I'll um, get back to you. Cheers. 
All right, guys, after lots of messing around, um, I think I've finally figured out the airbag. Then pack the driver's side airbag's got to be released to come out. But I've just looked, and in here, you can see I've just got a socket on the end of two. There, I think three 10mm bolts, there's one there, and two at the front. And if you look at here, they, um, they're plastic um, like inserts, but to actually gain access to them, you just sort of punch them out. That's why they're serrated like that you know so after like an hour of me messing around trying to get trim off and i sort of looked at that and thought hmm i'll try that way and actually once you punch those plastic bits on the left hand side i've done it um it gains access to the 10 mil heads to enable you to undo the airbag so i'll be back in a sec guys when i drop the airbag and then have a look at the next process or stage cheers guys all right guys finally got the airbag out <laughs> there's the three bolts there 10 mil disconnect it lift it up from its housing in there and now i think the next thing is to get this blow event off it looks like and a bit of a fart with my sd card and the gopro but yeah so anyway if we didn't get that i'm going to try and remove this um blow event to gain a bit more access under there and i'm not going to disconnect the airbag because obviously we don't want the airbag like coming on <laughs> But hopefully I'll whack it and it will activate. <laughs> okay guys, see you in a sec. Alright guys, finally after a lot of messing around, I've managed to undo this bar because it's like a safety bar for the clutch and the brake. Um, there's a 13 mil bolt right up in there. I'm not going to bother getting it over the steering column um, because I should still have enough access to get to the clutch pedal. And there's one, I think, there's one, if you just see it up there in the background, there's one 13 mil bolt <laughs> nut. That I've got to access, so I'll we'll, um, try and get to that, and then that should be it. Clutch pedal free, but I'll go back to you. If it's not that, and there's another one I've missed. Okay, guys, cheers. All right, as you can see, guys, I've got it out. Whew, what a job. Yeah, um, it has got three bolts. <laughs> Obviously, when the pedal's there, you've got two at the very top, as you can see, just there. The one at the bottom's easy to get to. The one on the right, not too bad. You can get it as long as you've got like a 10, 10 inch extension bar. Um, yeah, so anyway, so if you look at the new part, and like I said, it does, it differs a lot from the Leon because they've got like a, it's like a straight through rod bit here and a plastic end bit. With this, I believe that there's these three pieces here. One, two, three. And I think, I'm hoping it's a simple case we're just pushing them together, popping them out, and then putting a the new one in. So I'll get back to you in a sec, guys, if that's the case. I was right. You've got the three white push on bits, push them out, and then the master cylinder comes out. There's just a white little bit that sits in there. I just have to put it in a new one in there and put it back in and push the plastic bits back up through, and um, that'd be the new one in. And then, uh, hmm. Refitting is the reversal of removal, so um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I think uh, putting it back is going to be harder, but anyway, at least I've got the old one out. I'm going to put the new one in and uh, get back to you in a sec, guys. Cheers. All right, guys, so that's the paddle pedal removed. I've replaced the um, <laughs> the new clutch master cylinders in place. So now it's a case of um, <laughs> refitting. Um, I think we're going to start with a, the bottom nut. And then work my way up and obviously the reverse like i said <laughs> fitting is, is a reverse of removal so um which isn't too easy but i think if i had known because i think the um the videos online are all um Scirocco's and volkswagen golfs not actual see it's uh, slightly different so <laughs> this hopefully this will help someone in the future but anyway i'll stop waffling and i will try and crack on and video a little bit as i progress cheers guys right guys <sighs> finally everything's back in i lost a screw for the eater there but so i put a what's the name in it <sighs> but the airbag the hardest part really was the metal bar the crossbar here this protected bar I'm whacking my torch on. It was an absolute nightmare. It's only one 30 mil bolt, but getting it in place and tightening it up, it was it's the worst part of the whole job, I think, so far. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, that's it. That's what it looks like now. I'll put all these trim parts back on and then um take the air filter air foot box air yeah, housing off, sorry. <laughs> and um crack on my bleeding the clutch. So see you in a minute guys. 
Right, and here we are at the back of the car. As you can see, the new one's in. I'm just gonna now connect the pipes up and then start taking the air filter housing and that out to get access to the top of the gearbox and bleed the clutch. See you in a sec, guys. I was after a bit of faffing around, managed to get the air box off. It's not that difficult. The hardest part was this bit here, but there's no bolts to undo. Like I think with the golfs, you have to undo a bolt here or a nut here, but with this, I just done two T25 screws on here and here, remove them. And it allows you to get this the front duck out. Um, long nose pliers, disconnect the air pipe there. That one just goes in on top. There's a connection there. So, not that difficult. The next bleed nipple is down there. I've got a one man brake bleeding kit, so I might do a bit of filming of that <laughs> and see how we go. Anyway, cheers, guys. Right, guys, got the bleed nipple released and covered with the tube. I've got a empty bottle there. <laughs> I've got the one man Gunson bleeding kit. I've reduced the tyre pressure on the spare to 20 psi as recommended. I'm going to connect it in a minute and um, see how we go. <laughs> I topped the reservoir up as well and that's full up so hopefully we'll um, get, get the bleeder alright. <laughs> it's the first time I've done this so it'll be interesting. Anyway, get back to you in a sec guys. Alright guys, I had one blowout but um, now it's um. Yeah. Get the right size thing on thing with you on the screw cap on the um brake fluid reservoir. But yeah, it's pushing it out now. So hopefully I'll let it push a bit more through and then um it'll be the lead. Um can't see no bubbles but Back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, that's it. Finally done. Been out for a few miles up the road. Start off with I didn't have the airbox on, and it's coming up with glow bug, glow bug error. But once I plug this connector in, all back in, it's um fine. The clutch pedal went to the floor once or twice, but then sprung back up, and uh, seems okay. Um, stop starts working as it should, whereas before it was coming up with an error. So that's it. So. Hope this is helped. Oh, cool. gonna help someone out or one of you guys out and uh give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the channel and maybe I'll get back to showing you how the detail the engine be because <laughs> it needs it now. It's a bit gopping in it. Anyway guys I'm gonna have a nice bath. <laughs> thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, let's get the viewers up. Well I think I've got 350 um 352 subscribers now, but it'd be good to get a thousand in, wouldn't it? But we'll see. Anyway, take care. Say, I can't get my bloody words out. I'm delirious. I'm so knackered. Bloody back's aching. I won't be able to move for a fortnight now, but it'll save me five, eight hundred quid in it. So, anyway, cheers, guys. Take care. Bye.